this queen car is racing through Nesamim. It is striving for the technical service and they have lots of work to do to keep the village running. On its steering wheel sits one of the 40 volunteers of Nesamim. Robert Stierlen is 20 years old, comes from Germany and serves for one year in Nesamim. We call it the Gator because it's our working car. As you're working in the technical service you always have to, to carry a lot of things, to take a ladder with you, yeah, carry cement or something and that's why we have a working car. If you have the opportunity to, to drive a little bit the slope down, it, you can reach 40 kilometers per hour. It's also a little bit of, of fun to, to drive here through the village with the Gato. What Robert describes as fun is a hard and challenging job. Many of the volunteers from all over the world arrive in Nesamim and get a job which is totally new to them. Robert's work varies from repairing bikes to laying water and power supply lines. The work is very various, well, you can say, so there are different, very different aspects of it and that's what I, I like most. I like to, to have um, practical things and technical things and so if there are problems in the guest house you, you manage them but maybe you don't do it in the way that it would be done by professional people, you just you trick a little bit or you, you find your ways how to do it in maybe not so a professional way but in an effective way nonetheless. That contains a lot of fun because you're never an expert and you always have to improvise. Robert's best friend in Esamim joins him in solving difficult problems. Paul Schleif arrived in Esamim at the same time as Robert in last year's September. Oh, I just finished school in Germany and uh, then I asked, they asked me to work here in the technical service. I never have worked in the technical service before and now I'm here and uh, I'm making a lot of new experience and it's always really fun. <laughs> the fun part is to work with Robert. Um, it's very fun because you're not working alone. That's for sure, because you're always working in, in teams of two and therefore you are always accompanied by someone and together also work which isn't so pleasant becomes possible and uh, uh, funny sometimes. So it's a lot about yourself. This time a car got stuck somewhere in the fields close to Nesamim. Now it is Paul's and Robert's duty to find a solution. Whenever somebody needs practical help in the village, they can call Robert or Paul. Besides his technical work, Robert does much more inside the village. Robert, yet he only finished school till now, conducts the Nesamim choir. Like in a kibbutz, everybody is equal. The age, how much money you have, or which job you had before, does not matter. Church services in Nesamim are ecumenical. Catholics, Protestants and evangelists are sitting together. The pastor preaches in English. People from various countries and confessions show each Shabbat evening how a Christian entity could look like. This problem is much more severe than Paul and Robert first anticipated. Robert decides that they need more heavy machinery to get a car out of the hole. He grabs the phone and calls Rulof. Rulof? Can you hear the me? manager of the technical service. Hello, this is Robert. We have here a car. Rulof Fussmann is 58 years old. He owned a prospering construction company in the Netherlands. And then I sold it once a couple of years ago. And now I have my hands free to go uh, to do like, uh, like this. And I like it very much to work with young people and to meet uh, all kinds of different people and from uh, different countries. Uh, language is sometimes a problem then, but we, uh, we manage a little bit with hand and feet. A donation made it possible to replace the 30-year-old tractor by that new one. Not only the technical service benefits from that, actually the garden team needs the tractor all the time. Now Paul hopes that he can finally pull out the car and then leave work and enjoy his free afternoon. Like all of the volunteers, also Paul gets involved in the social life of the village. I'm working in the RCC and uh, we organize the bars and sometimes in summer we make barbecues or organize the pool parties. 
This barbecue evening was also organized by Paul and some of his friends, just like karaoke parties or parties at the beach, which is only four kilometers away. When Paul returns to Germany after his year in SMIM, he will study to plan and develop towns and countrysides. Robert will study physics in Switzerland, and Rudolf will return in some weeks to his wife, children, and grandchildren in the Netherlands. Together in a team, and with the tractor from the garden team, the three finally succeeded. Now, after a long working day of eight and a half hours, Paul, Rudolf, and Robert, like all the other volunteers, can enjoy their free time. Like this, at an after-work volleyball game, the volunteers form a close-knit community and they like to spend their free time with each other. Young and old volunteers become friends. Ness hey. <laughs> <laughs> Amim offers its volunteers a pool, free of charge and all summer long. Between grass lawns and palm trees, there's lots of space for pool parties and for the guests of the Ness Amim guest house. These Israeli guests choose this place also to celebrate a bar mitzvah, or a wedding. Robert likes to go for a run through the fields between Nesamim and the Jewish and Arab neighboring villages. When he runs along the olive trees, there's the village of Nesamim in his back. On his right hand side he sees the hill chain, which is the border to Lebanon, and on his left side the major city of Haifa is climbing up the Carmel mountain. Both a spectacular scenery. Paul likes to train his muscles. The equipment for that he found in the village, <laughs> passed on from volunteer generation to volunteer generation. In winter time, those weights and this bench stand in his room, but in summer he can leave it outside. Not one drop of rain is falling from May till October. And Rudolf just likes to read a book in the afternoon, enjoying the sunset on the terrace of his pavilion. Nesamim is a quite peaceful place in the north of Israel, in the Galilee. 